Hello and welcome to Top Dog TV's Short Sports Shorts. Today we continue our look at former Liverpool managers with Tom Watson. Watson became the first manager in the English game to be poached from another team when John McKenna, then Liverpool manager, persuaded him to leave Sunderland to take charge at Liverpool. Newcastle-born Watson was just 37 but he already had three league titles in the bag at Sunderland. He is still Sunderland's most successful manager of all time. Success was not immediate at Liverpool, instead it took him a couple of years of consolidation to build a side. In the 1898-99 season, things finally started to take a turn for the better. It seems reminiscent of their final day battle with Arsenal a hundred years later, Liverpool entered the final day just needing a draw to win the title. Just like with Arsenal, they faced their challenges on the final day of the season in a winner-takes-all match, with Liverpool knowing that a draw would be enough to give them the title. Aston Villa entered the game knowing they had to win against a side that had only conceded 28 goals in their 33 matches of the season so far. In the event it was a bit of a damp squib as Liverpool collapsed and conceded 5 goals by half time and eventually ended up losing 5-0. It was two years later in 1901 season that Liverpool finally popped their title winning cherry and lifted the league. In what could be considered irony they beat Sunderland to the title by two points. Winning the title made Tom Watson the first manager ever to win the English league with two different clubs. He is still one of just a handful of managers to achieve that feat. With Watson's prior record of success, much was expected of Liverpool in the coming seasons following their title victory. However, the club struggled and eventually were relegated just three years later. It was a totally different era back then though and his job was never in jeopardy. Liverpool bounced back up by winning Division 2. Following their promotion back to the top flight, they went on to win the first division immediately, thus becoming the first team to win the two divisions in successive seasons. The Sheriff of London Charity Shield was won the following year, but that was to be Tom Watson's final trophy, though he did lead Liverpool to their first FA Cup final in 1914. In the last final to be played at Crystal Palace, Burnley ran out 1-0 winners. Watson was an immensely popular man and a lot of his peers put his success down to his popularity. His recruitment was excellent and mostly facilitated by a large number of contacts who were happy to help him find information on players he wanted to sign. He was also extremely hard working and took it upon himself to paint the details of upcoming fixtures on the walls outside the ground. In many ways the genial Geordie was well ahead of his time. He liked his players to have a regimented routine and wanted them to use tobacco, butter, milk and sugar sparingly, though he did recommend the players have a glass of beer or claret with their dinner. The players trained twice a day and began and ended each day with a half hour stroll together. On days that were particularly cold, the players were given half time rubs on their back and chest to warm them up with neat whiskey. His time in the Anfield hot seat only ended with his death in 1915, aged just 56. His 19 years in charge make him the longest serving Liverpool manager of all time. Tom Watson, a forgotten legend, but a legend nonetheless. Next time on former Liverpool managers, we will be looking at the post-war era as football returned to Anfield following an enforced break during World War One.